I am super excited to get this underway. It's got a light load. Um, we haven't released the monthly subscription plan yet, so um, this will probably be pretty light until I punch the button on that. Um, oh, hey, got Luigi in here, got Kara in here, good to see you. Uh, Luigi, I totally understand that. Hunting for a new apartment. Um, that's gonna soak up a lot of your a lot of your weekend time. And Kara, um, Kara, it's so f the pain of the pain of crossing uh, crossing the canyon between your initial sketches and the first wireframe is um, it's a pain that's very very near and dear. Um, I, I totally understand. Like when you begin to try to like, oh, and I'm gonna need this, and I'm gonna need that, and I'm gonna need the other thing. You begin to see like the gaps. Um, so often those gaps are, so often those gaps are invisible to us because we've written the content and we kind of have an idea of, okay, this is what the page should be. Um, this is what that experience should be. But then we haven't considered the interactions between them. And then now we get all these little things that spider off of, off from that. So, uh, you know, the first time you do that, it's, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely one of those like, holy crap, there's so much more to this than I initially saw. But that's one of the reasons why I like, I like break it up and I'm like, all right, let's write a little bit of the content and now let's sketch it out. And now let's get into the wireframe. So kind of separating those concerns that you know the flows come before the content like all of this is like breaking it down to try to make this whole process um uh, more palatable um more approachable um and still even even as much as that's broken down it's just like oh my god there's so much stuff to still do here um but with that in mind uh we have uh Tedril has submitted an update to her portfolio, and I'm going to go ahead and switch over so we can go ahead and get started with that. Um, she's made a lot of progress over the holidays, and um, I've, I've had a couple of calls with her um, that I recall. I know I had one last week. Um, start of a new week, so I'll probably have one this week too. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at what she sent in this morning. She snuck it in right under the wire. Um, and I do want to make sure that, yeah, I've got myself switched over. So let's get, uh, actually, um, let's see here. Get pull origin master. Let me see what we got here. Obviously, if you have questions, feel free to jump into discord and ask as we go. Uh, lots of stuff came over from Tedril, So that is great i'm gonna go ahead and run go live uh she's working this is this is like a hand rolled um case study so she is um she's working on this um and it's loading a little slow slowly uh, she's got a lot of video assets the important thing to realize here is also um, because i'm live streaming um i'm streaming out it's hard for me to pull a lot of assets in um but Anytime that you get into a situation where things are slow, you got to look at file size. So that's something that we definitely will be coming back to. Um, just kind of, I'm kind of taking a, a look at what what we have here. Uh, last time I talked talked to her, it was all about it was all about basically restructuring. We had containers inside of containers, and that was in, we were ending up with odd measures. And it looks like a lot of that has been cleaned up. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we've got it down to the individual items, which tells me that that's probably going to be a little more responsive. Last time I, I spoke with her, this was all like one big thing. Um, I see the process here. This is okay. Um, looks nice. Uh, visual direction. Storyboard. Yeah, I mean, this is really coming together really nicely. Um, got this now set up to where we can it's cropped in on the face um, voiceover now you had mentioned in your you mentioned the voiceover this wasn't firing so one of the first things I'm going to do here is I'm going to I just need to investigate because I don't know what this player is so I need to investigate what the player where the player is coming from I see controls 
Um, so it says, it says you have two sources here and audio control. So that's point and controls is there, but it's not registering the source is my, is the question. So, um, yeah, that one we're going to need to circle back on um, because I, to be honest with you, and this is images, so I'm gonna guess, like I just wanna go in and take a look at this. So here's your um, images folder. And I'm guessing the audio is in here. Um, it might be this file. Um, I just want to take a peek at AI, uh, playing AIF files. Uh, AIF file in browser. It might be, be that it's not a supported file type. Um, okay, so. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Um, J, J player, wow. Um, yeah, so maybe if we convert it to an MP3, um, that might make it more br more friendly for the browser. But that's something that I'm going to have to circle back on because I, I honestly I haven't worked with audio in a while. So that one um, I'm gonna come back to, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a pin in it so that um, I'll investigate. Oops, can't do that because that is, I gotta sign in. I gotta get my, my new pragmatic sign in here. Sorry about that. But I'm going to just mark those as will investigate further heard from Rebecca uh, uh, oddly enough today as well she's back into the queue she's got a project she's working on for a client um, I think it's a WordPress build so we're gonna be spending a little time in WordPress later today with Rebecca but Rebecca was the last person that came through with um, really some of these stretch questions that um, I had you know like, uh, hey, how do those how do those transparent gradients happen in CSS? And I honestly hadn't done a lot of transparent gradients that switch back and forth. Um, but these are good questions. I, I like the I like these type of questions because they get me they get me spidering out into areas where I, you know, I, I don't have a lot of audio files to add to projects. So uh, when I get a question like that, it's like, ooh, I get to like go investigate some stuff that I don't normally get to play with. Um, so voiceover oh no sorry i put that in the wrong spot um that should be up there not here because the it's the voiceover player so spacing issue under images uh, there's too much space under images and videos so let's take a look at that um do, do, do. um this feels duplicated so that needs to be looked at. Um, honestly, it's if anything, I'm like I'm looking at this. I'm like, well, maybe there's not enough space under that. Um, I think the spacing here is fine. That one feels like it's a bit much. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's like under storyboard, there's a lot of space but under visual direction there's not but there's a bit of space here i just kind of want to investigate this a bit to see how the overall structure of this is working so um we've got a section on this row four images and and this is kind of an interesting thing because this is part of visual direction, and we could talk about the spacing here um, needing some work, but this is part of visual direction. And it seems to me that 
this this isn't really a section so much as it is like a div. Um, and when I when I change that, I, I did this specifically because I know that you have you have extra space added to each section. And by changing this just from section to div, I eradicate that spacing that's been applied to all the sections from this particular div. Um, so that's one thing I'd like to look at um, with regard to with regard to the spacing between some of these elements. Like I'm almost certain, I'm pretty certain that when I click on this, yeah, this has got a section class on it. And underneath it, this is another section but if I change this one from section to div, like that spacing, it soaks up that spacing. So again, this is, you know, this one's interesting. Let's uh, let's take a look at this. And again, I'm I'm so this is this is just a figure, and it's interesting. Let's see, margin bottom on the figures is ten, and I. It says hero video. And when I think of the hero video, I think of this. Like this one, this one's a pretty big video. Um, like like I, I wonder if we're, if we need a different mechanism for videos that are further down. Like this isn't a hero video. The hero video is here. This is, you need a specific, you need a specific structure to this one um, and this is where this is where we almost get into the realm of IDs like I just need it used one time um, and we don't we don't talk about IDs as much in CSS as single use anymore um, but that was really the intent the intent was a class could be used over and over and over again and an ID could be used once but we utilize IDs so much in it's almost like it became a JavaScript thing um, because we utilize IDs to target a specific button or a specific interaction that we want to have have happen. So it's almost like over time the ID became more of a JavaScript thing, but that's not really how it has to be. It just an ID should be a specific thing, not a CSS or JavaScript thing. So so there's a couple of things in here that I think we could do with regard to spacing and and that really comes back to um, how we're utilizing that section tag. So let's go through and let's look at your index. Um, I'm gonna like collapse that down. Um, and this is, you know, again, this is this is really where. Wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in here, and that's true. There is a lot of stuff in here. But at the same time, this is where building in a building in something like a Gatsby um, would help you like separate out these these concerns. So I'm gonna close that down. So that's now a div. We're gonna move that. It, it's interesting that's there. I think. There must be a div that is inside of this. Okay, so let's take a look because it looks like we might have we might have a missing div somewhere as well. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of clean this up as I go. Do I am a stickler for this indention? And I understand that the mood board is quite long, so I'm going to try to speed this up. But not too fast, Chris, because that's the moment that I miss something. All right, so I've closed that. I've closed that. Close that. Close that. 
close that, close that. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, I just need to change this from section div. And there it is. And then when I save this and come back over, that mood board should be properly spaced now. Now we don't have that large section of space below. Additionally, I want to come back up here and I want to adjust this one as well. Uh, that was a little higher up process, I believe. It was just a, he said our process. Oh, process image, here it is. So if we just change that to div, and for those that are like curious of, okay, hey, why is, um, why is div being used here? Um, that's, that's really interesting. Um, yeah, there we go. Why is div being used here? Why, why can't we just keep this wrapped in a section? And it's, it's mainly because this, in the section tag, it has a particular width. It's only this wide. And then she's wanting this image to go edge to edge. And when you go edge to edge, you have to break out of the container that is that section. So it's basically section. And then I really want this to still be kind of seen with this. Um, putting it in its own section doesn't do that. Um, I, could, I could wrap the whole thing in a section and say, okay, and that, that might be like the thing that we should be doing here is uh, saying, okay, well, this is a section of visual direction and this div really should be within the section. Um, now it's going to show it twice. Um, and I just paste it in mood board. Yeah, so visual direction is inside of, so this div is inside of it, and I've ended the container, but this is now part of the same section. If I save, oops, if I close it down and save it, oh, boy, I'm really fumbling with my keys today. If I save it, uh, yeah, there it is. So now this is all part of the same section, so semantically it makes more sense. Um, but this div resides inside of the section that it was previously broken away from. You know, this is going to be cleaner. Uh, this is, uh, this when you're going through the code now, it's not like, why is this, why is this outside of that section? So that makes sense. If we did the same, let's take that same idea and let's look at process image. So we've got the container here and the container is where I want it to be. The section ends, but the section should actually contain process image. And doing that doesn't change, sorry, doing that doesn't change how this appears, like it still appears the same, but it allows us to group these together. So there's process, that's the container, um, the container ends, the process image begins, and then you're, you're out of the section. Um, I did want to look at this. Uh, there was another question that Rebecca had regarding how much space between the sections. And honestly, I think the, the bigger question here is, um, you know, when I look at the, like our process, I'm just looking at it on the screen. When I look at this, I, I really feel like this is uh, this is hitting the right tone spacing wise. This feels great. You get down here into to discovery and this is where it's like discovery and story and then visual direction. The labels are so large. They, they don't feel, they don't feel like, um, they really deserve labels that size. They feel outsized. Like here, our process works great. Here, um, challenges, works great. Design tools, like, it's really big. Um, as we come through, visual direction, totally totally fine. I, I love, like I, I've said it before, I love the big blue banners. Storyboard feel feels right. 
Now, Storyboard's got that, that problem. Uh, let's go look at Storyboard for a second because it, Storyboard's further down. Uh, let's close Visual Direction. Let's close Style. Let's get down here to Storyboard. And Storyboard has this section in it, right? So let's close the section. Let's just change that to Div. And it, it says I don't want to close it because I don't have a closing div. So we got to change that as well. And that S div is not going to work. Hey, Fonzo, good to see you. I see you chiming in there. Great to see you coming on through. And of course, there we go. Uh, got to close that div. I'm going to move it inside. And, and really, this is where we are getting rid of of um let's see here we got some odd spacing here so we got that div um it's like it's like i inadvertently lost that section tag so there now section div weird I gotta I gotta check this out okay so that div goes there this is an extra div this is okay container that's an extra div as well and then we have this which should be right there and now let's save it and see what we got and Uh, machine is struggling here. Let's see what's going on here, because it says there's storyboard. Oh, okay, I get it. So yeah, so like I think what we need to do here is delete that section, and yeah, now it should now it should work fine. I, I think we just had too many sections in there. Um, and of course, now we have, we have a, a bit of an issue here um, because it's, it's really coming up too much on, uh, on this. And we've gotten rid of a lot of sections that, was get, that were giving you spacing, uh, spacing before. So let's look at mood board. Um, let's, come, let's come down to stop motion, storyboard. Um, you've got this class of storyboard appearing a lot. I'm not really sure if that's intentional or not. Uh, single call, uh, container, I'm just gonna do that. Um, single call, single call. Let's look at this row for Four rows grid. Uh, I'm gonna call this mood board. So I, be I believe that's the mood board. Um, just want to make sure I'm hitting the right target here. Uh, hmm. There's store. So there's container. There's storyboard. There's style. You know, I'm gonna look for storyboard real quick. It, it appears that there's a little more space on that one than your others, and I just wanna. Yeah, storyboard has a special spacing on it, and I'm not sure why. Um, why is that one so much more than... I just want to look for section. See, section already has a padding to the top of it, and then storyboard gets another? Um, that could be one of the big issues here. So I'm, rather than remove it, I'm just going to note it out, because I just want to like, I just want to see what happens here. And... You know, now storyboards got spacing like the others, um, and that seems to make sense. Now, 
underneath here that that's obviously tighter than we want it so I want to take a look at that um, and again I've given it a class of mood board so I'm gonna come down here and where storyboard is I'm gonna type in mood board and I'm gonna say you know margin bottom two rem a relatively small number and that gives you some space that's pretty even with what you have here down below so that helps address that issue and really the spacing now is 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 coming together you know we had we had gargantuan amounts of space to the top of storyboard which is a problem um, that was appearing elsewhere as well because we had we had storyboard in a couple of spots um, and really, you know, the, the other question that you had, oh, it says, how do I make design icon, how do I make the icons for design tools 50% for design tools, 50% of its current size? Um, the middle icon exported the same dimensions, but in mobile view. Okay, so there's something going on here with uh, the design icons that she has. So let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. That's not process. It's probably here. Design icons. All right. So let's inspect element on this. Okay. So yeah, you know, like it's got this little weird stair steppy thing, right? Okay. So and you've done that right. And now it comes down to, okay, so let's take a look at this. So you've got this, it says six call grid, grid gap 3M, three rim rather. Uh, if we kill that, like it stays in line. Um, yeah, this is where I think on the smaller size, it should be like, if you if you say repeat three and then give yourself some grid gap uh, you know grid gap of you know one um, two maybe um, that that works pretty well um, you know obviously you can't <laughs> you can't have it at that size all the way up but but that you know there's something there's something it was trying to do uh, when this was six. That was it was it was really struggling to to handle the spacing. And I got to be honest, with you, I'm not sure why it's chosen Photoshop to elevate like that. Because then Final Draft goes down. Um, it just that that's doing some really interesting things. Um, also, there seems to be a lot of space to the top of tools as well but uh, I, but I digress um, so my su suggestion here would be to kick this over to three um, you've got this in single call which raises the question of if it's in single call why is it not um, measuring like container and I think it's because it, it wants it wants to be wrapped in a container as well. So I'm just gonna for grins put that on it. I'm gonna put this back at three. And yeah, it I think it wants a div in between whatever is going on with the single call. There we go. So, yeah, it, it's kind of funny. You've got this single call width, and I think container is all you really need. It, it's like you, you've, in, and we've done this a couple of times, Tejal, is where we've like, oh, we've got a container, and then we've got a container inside of that, and we've got another container inside of that, and I think that that is what's happening here, is we have a container, and then we have another container. Um, if we just use container here instead of single call, I think what you'll find is that it will do exactly what you're wanting it to do, 
So let's do the following. Uh, let's go to tools. Let's just put container on that instead of single call. We don't need it at all. I'm gonna save it. So um, now it's still doing the weird like, you know, it's not quite sure how to space itself. And that's because the three rem, okay? Um, it's, you have more padding on it. Uh, six call images grid, let's find that. There it is. Um, and this is where we need a similar, and I'm just gonna, for grins, I'm just gonna move that south of this so I can basically add this to it. Oops, I don't wanna do that, I wanna do this. And we don't need to re change that. I need to change this to like, let's just say two. And I'm gonna say this is three. And now, uh, when I come back, um, oh, let's change this to six. Let's change this to three. I'm basically making this mobile first save it now we've got this and then when we come up it will pop back to the wide and that's all we need to do now you asked about spacing and um, this is where we'll end up here with spacing um, so often this comes down to what feels um, that's kind of odd yeah okay so it's there it's just at a slightly wider angle. Does it, it does starts getting in that weird spacing thing? But we get into we talk about spacing, and like there's too much space here, and that needs to be adjusted. Um, but but that's really a re it's there because of, of the video and its responsive nature. But as you go through here, um, like the i the idea of spacing for me always comes to comes to cognitive load. Like, is there enough spacing to allow me to consume, but also kind of hint that something else is coming? Like, this is really ideally spaced. Um, as I come down, I get in a visual direction. Like, that. this is all ideally spaced. Storyboard, it, it's not overwhelming me. Like, like, the spacing through here is working really well. Um, and that's because we've, we've gutted out the spacing that that really slowed it down. Um, I always think about this, and, and you're in video. You, you have a background in video editing, so I think I think you'll understand this concept concept well. When you're thinking about the pacing, um, you know you know when when somebody is really stopping and holding on, and pausing dramatically. Um, William Shatner is an actor famous for dramatic pauses um, you don't want the dramatic pause the dramatic pause is where the space has gone and gotten too large um, but you also don't want the person that rambles and there is there isn't a period because they continue moving on and then they move to the next idea and and then it like that is when the spacing is too small when when you're being overwhelmed and you can't you have you don't have the transition between sections when it's just like one idea and then the next idea and the next idea that's when the spacing isn't enough so the question here isn't a matter of is there an industry standard for the amount of spacing because there isn't the the concept here is are is your user or your viewer or your consumer are they able to process the information at the speed with which you intend and sometimes it's going to be a lot of space. Other times it's going to be a very small amount of space. It depends on the information that you're delivering. Right now, as I, as I look through here, I think the spacing's pretty good in most spots. I do think that there are some areas that maybe should be combined to from a label perspective because these, these are pretty short. They don't require um, the labeling structure like to where this is perfect. This is, this is what I would really hope for. This is, again, it works. Like the labeling structure here, the storyboard, 
and then the secondary labels and the, the all that works okay so um you know it's it's here i'm like eh, that label's off you know it, it, it's almost like process maybe it's like our process and then a little label discovery and another little label story like like slide that up under process and i'm cur- curious like Disco- discovery is a part of the process and you know maybe maybe you say script instead of story and that solves the other other issue um and then visual direction is a larger one so i, I think i think that you are well on your way uh, the next big thing that i want to do before i before i let you go here is i want to push um because i always hate it when i when I forget to do this before we jump off these uh, feedback loops, commit dash M updates from feedback loop. Push origin master. Okay, so um, I'm going to investigate the audio thing a bit more. Um, I can't give you a, a solid answer on that um, as of right now because I, I simply. I don't know. I think it, I, I, I suspect that when you switch it and that you get away from the AF uh, file, um, that it will load. Um, but until I, until I t- do some investigation there, I couldn't tell you, uh, one way or another. And I, am not even sure I have a converter handy, so I gotta go get a converter, but otherwise, um, I will follow up with you on that. Uh, This is the feedback loop. It's Monday, and we are getting a whole brand new year started here at New Pragmatic. I am uh, super excited to have you along. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing all of you again tomorrow. Take care.